to dismantle the X-Pro is very quick and very easy. First, take off your catch cup, like so. Second, very important, open your adjustment dial all of the way, 100%. Your burrs need to be fully open. So, turn it clockwise, all of the way, until it stops. Okay, that's your burrs fully open. Take off the adjustment dial, just pop that off. And the reason you need your burrs fully open is because the thumb nut will not loosen unless you've got your burrs open 100%. If they're open 90%, it just won't open. So always 100%. Push up with your burrs and you want this dot to move to the straight edge, like so. And that's it, it just comes out. Put that there, careful not to lose it. And then your burrs will just push out like so. Be careful that you don't damage the burrs. Your bearing ring cap, take that off. And your spring, take that off. That's your burrs ready to clean. Okay, this point, it should also be a bearing ring that should just pop out that bit. There, the outer burrs, those loosen by turning anti-clockwise. If you're looking down at your grinder, it's anti-clockwise to loosen, clockwise to tighten. So take those off. Again, be careful with the threads on all of these products. And that's it. That's your burr out. On the outside of your outer burrs, there's also another ring here. Now this does come loose sometimes and you can take that off. Mine's quite tight at the moment and basically that allows you to get to the screws underneath that keep your burrs locked in. I wouldn't advise that you mess around with that, just leave that. If it comes off, make sure that you sit it on there properly for the threads to actually engage properly. Otherwise, it will be lopsided and, and it's really difficult and it'll move and you won't get it on and it'll be a little bit difficult for you to get it off. So just sit it on straight and then gently turn it until it screws into place. So that's your, your grinder totally dismantled. Reassembling the grinder is just the opposite of what we've just done. Get your body, the outer purse. Put them in there again, be careful with your threads. You don't want to damage the threads. And then turn it anti-clockwise until that feels tight. You can tighten it a little bit, but don't over tighten it. Just right, okay? Then your burrs, put your spring on, like so. This bearing ring with the raised edge facing upwards like so and then put your burr shaft in be careful at this point because it's sometimes a little bit tight to push that in and don't damage the the burrs so once that's in your bearing ring will just drop drop into place like so that's in okay at this point when you're putting your thumb nut on, push up with the burrs from below and put your thumb nut on. And for locking it in place, you want that dot to go to any of the corners like so. And then release, and that's it. It's locked in place. It's very quick and very easy to do that. So that's it. Next, put your adjustment dial back on. Doesn't matter where it is, just put it back into place like so and close your burrs a hundred percent there now you'll know your burrs are closed because you can't move them like that you can put your grind handle on and if your grind handle stays in position and doesn't fall your burrs are closed but you can test it by just trying to move it that's fully closed okay so we want to calibrate this now Get the zero number in line with this. Just pop off your adjustment dial again, like so, 
and find the zero number there. And you want this to line up with that. So at that point, just put it back into place and those pegs should just fit in. If they go either side, that side, it doesn't matter. If they go over like this, just move them back to that side like that and pop it on and then you can turn it like that and that's it. That's your grinder calibrated, you're in the zero point and that's it, ready to go. It's very quick with this grinder, very easy. And then put your cut hook back on and that's it, done.